Oh no, the door just appeared. There wasn't a door there. Line, right? <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god, there's a charm. Here we go. Okay, the creepy music is back. I'm just kind of scared about the save thing. Like, I definitely want to be able to save. Hi, Joe. It's, it's Elizabeth Finch, Finch, your grandfather's lawyer. We spoke a few days ago. Why do I feel like this game is making me turn like the sound off? So I can the reading hear. of the will today. <sighs> he bequeathed his manor at South Matlock. Just uh, come by our office. Also, oh, I sign inherit the mansion. And okay, pick my up mansion. Keys. Farewell, Joe. And I'm Joe. I'm Joe, and I now own a mansion. What a life Joe has. Joe just got a phone call and now owns a mansion. I would love a phone call. <laughs> That's just like, you now own a mansion. Oh, whoa, okay, the sensitivity is crazy. Press F to use. Why is it so dark? This is gonna be like a flashlight game. Flashlight only game. I'm kind of scared just to turn around. Oh, we came through the front door. Okay, we can't exit. I am scared already. I found a key. What is is the key to the front door? End of game. That's what the damn it. <laughs> we exit. There's not even another door. Wait, there's not even a door. Nothing else opens. There's a book that I can't. Oh, let's go check out the power box maybe. Yeah. It's over here making noises at me. Welcome to Insomnus. I just got a Steam achievement. Welcome. Oh no, the door just appeared. There wasn't a door there. There wasn't a door there. Now there's a door. No. Oh my god, the door's- wait. Oh my god, I'm freaking myself out. I thought the door had disappeared and there was a cabinet, but I'm just like, my sensitivity is so high in this game that I turned around and saw the cabinet. We haven't even started and I'm already scared. The opening of this game really freaked me out. That's why I'm like so nervous about it. Through the door. I'm sure this is what the key is for now. Hello? Don't jump scare me. Okay, I came through that door. There's a big double door there. There's another door that there's a lot of doors. Time's not being fair to this there's house. Who was talking to me? The stairs. Show text. I, Roman Castabet, now residing in House of Orphans of Castabet, family 11 Concordia Street, LSI 4ES, Leeds Central United Kingdom. What an address! <laughs> That's the longest address ever. Is that how addresses work over there in the United Kingdom? What is LSI 4ES? It must, that's like a suburb or something. No, but Leeds Central would be like the suburb. I don't know how addresses work there, but they're really long. Oh, this is the will. Why is the will just chilling on the table of this abandoned mansion? Being of sound mind and disposing mind and memory over the age of 18 years or lawfully married and not being actuated by any duress, menace, fraud, mistake or undue influence, do make, publish and declare this last my last will and testament and I revoke all wills and codiciles previously made by me. First, I direct but do not require that the expenses of my last illness and funeral, the expenses of the administration of my estate and all estate, inheritance and similar taxes payable with respect to property included in my estate, whether or not passing under this will and any interest or penalties thereon shall be paid out of my residuary, residuary, re, residuary estate. I keep trying to say residual because my mind just wanted to say residual. Without apportionment and with no right of reimbursement from any recipient of any such property, I want to be interred at our family mausoleum next to my deceased and beloved wife, Beatrice Castavet. Oh my god. I do not read legal jargon. Second, I give and bequeath all tangible personal property owned by me at the time of my death, including without limitation personal effects, clothing, jewellery, furniture, furnishings, household goods, automobiles and other vehicles and all rights that I have under any related insurance policies to my grandson. Okay, I am the grandson. I thought I was the son, so I'm glad we cleared that up. Joe Castavet, if he survives me or if he doesn't, or if he doesn't not survive me? In accordance with the written statement or list which I intend to prepare and sign disposing of such property or any part thereof as permitted by United Kingdom law. We got the mansion basically and the funeral was paid for out of whatever was left. What is with the paintings? Who has these paintings on their wall? I thought that was about to be a gallows or something. 
I don't know which door to take. Let's just start with the bottom floor first. There's always a creepy piano because there can't be a horror game without a creepy piano. That just doesn't happen. A dining room that is set up as if someone's going to eat. But the pot is empty. It's a photo. Can I, I can pick up the... Oh, it's a postcard. I thought it was a photo. January 1992. Good morning, Grandpa. You didn't send me any money to get home for Christmas, and you didn't send the ticket either, so I spent the whole Christmas here alone. Thank goodness one of my colleagues stayed with me. Are you alright? Did something happen? I hope you had a good holiday. I miss you. Is this from me? Oh, that's a letter I sent. Okay. I sent a postcard to my dad. Spent Christmas alone, apparently. A bill? It's a gas bill. Don't want that. Put that back. <laughs> I love how we can't collect the gas bill. Like, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> I can stay. Oh, a doll. Do we want to take the creepy doll? We'll take it. Ice jaws. Why do I need to pick that up? Ooh, what is this? Insomnus? The book? It's the book of the game? Oh, I took it. I took the book. I sh Do we have like a men an inventory? Okay, we have... No. We have... We do not it have... It seems that no one has entered to this kitchen for a long time. Is that me talking to myself? Cacao Max? Unique flavor. Why do we have posters for products in our kitchen? Oh, okay, we saved the game with the telephone. We figured it out. I figured out how to save the game. The telephone saves the game. This is, okay. Okay, when you enter the hall, the kitchen and then the dining room is on the left. What if I go back? <gasps> oh, no. It says death awaits on the back of the door. Okay, that's locked. The door we came through, we can't go back out of. So let's try it this way. Why is there- okay, there's a lot of telephones. That did nothing. Save again, why not? Oh, is this another postcard? What does this say? Oh, what is that noise I can hear in the background? November 1991. Good morning, Grandpa. I've been here for a couple of months now and you still haven't answered my postcards. I guess you're busy. I'm fine, everything is fine here. They are a bit serious and the classes are getting very boring. I'm going home for the holidays at Christmas. Remember to send me money for the ticket. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so I think I went off to boarding school when I was younger. I'll have to look for a battery. Okay, we need a battery for the radio. So we've done the front half of downstairs. What's over here under the stairs? Let's look in the darkest nooks and crannies. Why don't, why not, why not? Okay, we've got two doors here. We take the left door or the right door? I'm gonna take the left door. Oh, can't, don't worry. Take the right door. They're forcing me into this room. Okay, we've got another postcard. November 1992. Grandpa, what's wrong with you? Not a phone call, not a letter, not a pound. I haven't heard from you for a long time. Grandpa, tell me something. I'm worried. Well, he obviously got the postcards because they're all sitting here. He just never replied to me. He just ignored me. Academic record, Roman Castavet. Okay, wait, that's not me. I'm Joe. Who's Roman? Student number 0012998, date of birth, 1937, semester one, chemistry and society one, certificate of merit, calculus and discrete mathematics, engineer. Okay, this person's good because they're getting certificates of merit. Wait, no, I was going to say certificate of merit just a pass, but no, there was mechanics, optics, and thermal physics is just a pass. Semester two. Okay, so they had like good grades all throughout. They never got worse than a pass, which is fine because, you know, the good old saying, peas get, get degrees. What's in here? Pants? Don't know why I need those, but I'll take them. I have pants. Okay, we also have not found a battery. What's this door? Locked. Okay, whatever room is here, we cannot get... Why is this sound getting louder? Can I get in here? No, okay. Looks like we're going upstairs. This place better not have an attic because I haven't seen a basement and I was like glad that I got to miss that terror. This does not feel good. Oh my god, that statue scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a person. Why are you here like this? A mask? What am I turning into? Some superhero? I'll take the mask. 
Is it Bunny Rabbit? We'll take that. Jamie to children's toys. The rabbit's called Jamie. Oh, it's a dark hallway. <laughs> I don't want to walk towards a dark hallway. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. This art is a choice. What is that? Can I crouch? I can crouch like- this is- this is not a crouch. This is the crouch of someone with bad knees. We're moving like two centimeters. I achievement unlocked a secret place. One day in March 1999, we knew this would happen, that it would get out of hand. Obsession has driven us to madness. I've been locked in here for 13 days. There's a good chance I won't get out of here alive. If you ever find me, please tell my family I love them. Forgotten Nick. The heck? He died in there? Alright, we're just gonna- can we close this? Can we close- can we- shit, now it's just gonna be left open. Excellent. We just get to look at some bones of someone named Nick. A bathroom! There's actually a light in here, so the power is working. Why have I not found a light switch then? Why am I <gasps> Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, I guess we don't have a light then. Oh my god. Oh, I found a toy. Georgie! I've added Georgie to the collection. I don't know if I want to go back out this door. Hello? What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? An invoice. Con uh, architecture invoice, George Trevor. Construction of Cavistet Mansion 11 on Cor Concordia Street. Previous studies, exhibition memory sketch and drawing, execution project, foundation memory structure and foundation plans and structure detail plans. Is that meant to say foundation? Construction management book of written orders, graphic and renders with certification. Studies in Arkland Mountains. Construction of at least three secret zones and elevators. Okay, so is this telling me there's three secret zones and elevators in this building? Okay, so there's like secret zones everywhere. Can I pick up this book? No, I can't pick up that book. Okay. Oh, I thought this doll had a knife in it then for a second. Hooper? There is a knife just here though. Okay, nothing in those drawers. Can I pick up the train? No. Another postcard. Merry Christmas, Grandpa. I don't ask you for the money for the ticket anymore. I know you won't send it. That's sad. Wait, how many secret areas did this say it had? Three secret zones. Oh, and a elevator. Okay, there are three secret zones and an elevator. I assume the secret thing in the side of the wall was one of them. So maybe two more secret zones and an elevator. There's a secret elevator somewhere? That's a mirror. Bedroom? Is that say bedroom? There's a drawing of a door there. Let's check this room. That is a giant mirror. Oh, we can save. The phones is how you save. Is this my grandpa? I think that must be my grandpa. Can't open this. Here's another toy. Lynchy? That one's Lynchy. Oh, another key. We'll take that. A record player? Okay, I must have to find a record. I still haven't found a battery for the radio. What does this say? Kilowatts use 4095. Is that important? It's like block blocked out. So this is an electricity statement, so we'll have to remember that's there. We might need that. This is also meant to be like horror, but puzzles. But I feel like I'm yet to face a puzzle. So far, it's just been like seek and find kind of stuff. It's like a wardrobe here I can't get into. Okay, interesting. This, this room scared me because it has writing on it. Don't know why that scares me, just does. It's in red. Any red sort of writing just scares me. Uh, there's a children's drawing on the wall. There's a lot of children drawing on the wall. I don't like Why is there a security camera in the bedroom? I don't like- I don't like this bedroom. I'll do it for the content. Another postcard. December 1995. Please get me out of here. I can't stand it any longer. I don't know what to do to get me out of here. Get me out of here. I want to go home. I promise I won't bother. I'll get a job. Get me out of here. Okay, I think that's still talking about the boarding school. 
Okay, this bed is suspiciously skewed like this. Why does someone keep magic door? Can I jump? I can't jump on the bed. Alright, I can change the time on the clock. But I can only change the big hand. There's nothing in there. Oh, there's two clocks. Okay, there's two clocks that I can change the time. Tubes. There's another bed. There's more clocks. We have four clocks. Okay, the clocks are going to open the magic door in the hallway, I think. Okay, so there's a door out here. There's a door out here that's drawn on the wall. Which cannot do anything, but I think a door will appear if we solve the clock puzzle. We just need to figure out how we do that. I've got another bear. Camera. Okay, that's very obvious. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, and this has a five digit code okay we need a five digit code and we need four times for the clock what's over here you got a battery oh what's that another postcard October 1997 I've moved to a new address the former manager of the Winchester has got me a job near Weymouth, Weymouth? you can find me at 15 Westbourne Road if you ever need me that lady still scares me. Okay, I couldn't get into that. Wait, I have a key, didn't I? Oh, wait, wait, I have a key now. This wall's different from the rest. This wall's different from the rest? That scares me. I have a key. I forgot I found a key, so a new door should open as well. Maybe that's the problem. I forgot that I fa had found a key. It might be one of the rooms downstairs. Let's go find out. Also, keep an eye out for clocks or things in paintings. We're just looking for clues in everything. Anything could be a clue. We just don't know. There's a giant chess piece in there. If I ever made a video game, it would definitely have a playable chessboard in it. Wait, did I miss a note over here? What's this? Architecture George Trevor invoice. Previous studies, exhibition, memory sketch and scale drawings. Descriptive report of technical advisory character. Oh no, this was like the first half of the one we found upstairs. Did I not look over here at the start? Did I skip this whole area? Today is the day grandma died. I hope you bring her flowers. Whoa, that's sad. Why is there always going to be creepy children? Can we just have a horror game with our creepy children? There's a ghost. This painting's kind of sick though. I would have this painting. Isn't this painting cool? I could make that. I could make that painting for my house. September 1991. Hi, Grandpa. I'm already settled in at the school. Oh, well, it was a school. If we had found this postcard in the first place, it would have told us that. The place is a bit cold. I don't know the people yet, and I guess it gives me that feeling. Class starts tomorrow, and I'm a bit nervous. In the room, I sleep with two boys. I don't know them yet, but they seem fun. I'll write to you next week and let you know how it goes. They won't let us use the phone. Oh, wait. I should take that. Thank you. What else do we get? Anything in here? Can't open those. Okay, it looks like I missed some drawers as well, so I need to double check everything. Because there could be a key that I missed. Oh, there's a chest here. That has nothing in it. What was in here? Nothing, nothing. This door's still locked. That's the door I came through. Can't go to- I can't even get to that cabinet. <gasps> okay, the chairs were not stacked like that when I was here last time. Was it? It wasn't like this, was it? That wasn't like that. Was it? I can't remember. Can I get in that box? No. I don't know if the chairs were like this. It's scaring me. Oh, I can open a window. Yes, let's exit. Out the window. Straight out. I can't get out. Why was the point of opening the window then? Okay, let's see if the key that I found opens this door. It does. We have a new room, guys. Oh, we have- <gasps> There's a chessboard! There's a chessboard! Forget the horror game, we got a chessboard! Oh, we can't play it. Damn it. You cannot put chessboards in games that are not playable. I- It's like my one pet peeve. You <laughs> chessboard must be playable. Even just let me put pieces in place. I will accept that. December 1997, I hope you remember that I hate you. Wow, that was an angry postcard to send to my grandfather. Who was winning? There's only black pieces on the board. So I guess black was winning. Why can I open all the windows? That's kind of weird as well. 
I'm a bit suspicious of lights now because the last time I saw a light on, the light blew when I turned around. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I was not expect step on the chessboard. I can't jump. This game doesn't have a jump mechanic. I don't. I can't jump. I can't. Oh wait, there's a note. It's a kid's drawing. Green book. Oh, there's a secret book we can pull for a door. Okay, the green book. We need to pull a green. Is it in this room? Green book, like middle of the shelf, will open a secret door. I can't get to that one. Green book. Oh, this one? It's not green. Oh, I had the book. I had found the book. <gasps> what did it? What opened? Something unlocked. I am so- my hands- my palms are sweaty. My palms are sweaty. That's how stressful this game is. Whew, okay. Deep- hold on, let me just have a drink for a second. <laughs> it's, just, it's not even that stressful. Nothing's happening. Nothing's even happening. I don't know why I'm stressed. Ripley? That doll's called Ripley. We're just gonna open all the windows because I don't know what that means, but we can open them, so we're... A-H-T-N-B-E. We'll start with the first letter. The A can go to the first or the last position. It's four letters. One, two, three, four. First and last, it could be A. H goes around to B. And also doesn't go anywhere. Oh wait, this isn't that hard. N is the second one. A N. Anna? It's just Anna. Right? A N A A N N A is Anna. And there's flowers on the page. That's what you got? Okay, perfect. We're on the same <gasps> A floppy disk! Who remembers floppy disks? I wish I could open an inventory to see the things I collected because like with that book that I put in the bookshelf to like pull the bookshelf and unlock something, that was something I collected before. And I didn't remember that I had picked that up. Like, I couldn't remember I picked it up. Is there? No, those are collectibles. That's, like, different. I don't think there are... It's, like, an inventory. Oh, wait. These are, like, the flask in that picture upstairs. H2O? What does this say? June 1992. Grandpa's school is over and the holidays are starting. They let us call the other day on the phone. I tried to call you to tell you to send me the money for the ticket. But you didn't pick up the phone. The principal said he talked to you for a few weeks ago. The principal said he talked to you a few weeks ago and you're fine. I'll spend the summer here doing remedial classes, waiting for the ticket. Please write to me when you can. Nothing going on here. It's also really easy to miss things in this game because it's so dark and you only have the torchlight. It's easy to walk past things that are like probably useful. As I've already demonstrated in- <coughs> Holy shit. Why is this room red? <laughs> This looks like I'm about to just like enter hell. Like, welcome to hell. Mm, mm, mm. You can lock me in now. I'm in. Is this a creepy ass kid's room? There's a dollhouse. There's a hedgehog. He's so cute. Spilby. His name's Spilby. Okay, we can do. What is this, a giant Ouija board? Playground. Yeah. It's like a giant Ouija board. <laughs> Somebody's watching me on the cameras. Okay, so do we spell playground? Where's P? Where does it start? Do we have a P? There's no P. There's no P. Okay, so we're not spelling playground. Maybe we're spelling Anna? There's an A here. Oh, here. A N N A. Oh, it's lit up. What do I do? <laughs> do I move? I got Anna. What else can I get? Anna Wit. Anna. What? Can I. Okay, we lit up. Or do we have to do like kids' names or something? Oh my god, there's a child that ran past. 
Hey man, oh my God. House doesn't house kill doesn't people. Kill. <laughs> Remember, Joe, the house doesn't kill people. I just got a steam achievement, Anna. Okay, so we had a child. What is? Can I use this yet? No. Okay, so we got Anna. And then the child, the girl ran this way. Is there another name on here though? Reb. Not really. Nothing else really makes sense. Okay, let's see where this child went. Not that I really want- do I not have my torch anymore? Oh, it's just really dark. Oh, this door opened! Why is there a classroom in this mansion? That's a little scary. Why? Why do we have to do kids? Oh, what's this say? Why is it lighting like that? I need to find things? Anna. God, Anna but not be in here. I'm scared of Anna already. All she did was run across the hall. We found a bear. Oh, it's an elephant. It's a, uh, an elephant. <laughs> it's a hippopotamus. It's called a hippopotamus an elephant. It's a hippopotamus. Oh my god. My brain. I, I can't think straight when I'm scared, okay? No. Oh my god, she's there. Anna, what are you doing? What are you doing, Anna? I don't really want to walk near this child. Are you drawing something? You're drawing a key? Is that me? Is that for me? Oh, if I take it, is she going to be mad at me? Oh, she scares me so much. Hello, child. Who's going to back away slowly? Thanks for the key. Alright, so what door was locked? We still have... There was an, a locked door downstairs. Let's check. The wardrobe's still blocked off. We still can't get in there. It, this could be a key for downstairs. Let's check the other... Oh, I hate walking through doors now. I feel like just walking through doors just... I'm just like getting shivers. Walking through doors just trigger things and I feel like I'm just going to trigger something when I walk through a door. Okay, this was all open. The bathroom was open. Okay, so downstairs I think is the only place with locked door. Don't worry, Anna. I'm going downstairs. You just you just hang out up here. I'm going. I'm going down here. Okay, so there is a door in here that's locked. That's still locked. So that's obviously not the key for that. Was there still a locked door in here? Here we go. New room. Okay, this looks more like an abandoned mansion with everything under sheets. Wait, does anything look like a human? No, okay. Ooh. Oh, we found a record. Okay, there's- Oh my god, that scared me. That noise scared me. There's a record player. We're gonna play some music. What is that? A board game? Oh, there's another door. Can't get through there. So many locked doors. So many locked doors you can't get through. That's creepy. I feel like something is gonna jump scare me. What is this? Memo? Path games? Memo path games. 1351. Okay, I'll take that. I have cards. I have cards now. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Oh, why is it always just the kids running through the house? Can they just st Was that Anna or is that someone else? Okay, I think these are the cards that I need for upstairs in the school where Anna is though. I'm freaking... I hate this game. <laughs> oh my god. Why do this to me? Anna's gone. Anna is no longer in this room. Okay, I think the cards are for this. Here we go. Am I playing a game now? Oh, am I playing memory? Okay, that was either just straight luck or it was meant to happen like that. I don't understand what we're doing here. Oh, I just got super lucky on the first two. The first two? I thought I was just flipping them over, they were always going to match. 
five. Is that this one? One. And then this one. The numbers were just one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, there's a child. Hello? What are you pointing at? Oh, thanks. Thank you. I'll just take this. You just stay. English class? Crossword? Oh, she's gone. Okay, I think the creepy child actually might be trying to help me and not try to freaking murder me. Okay, we have words. So, chocolate is O. And then, what's two? Hospital is S. And the third one is sandwich. W. And then the fourth one, ra radio? R A D I. And then the fifth one, N. Oswin? Oh, I got Oswin. I don't know if that's right. O S W I N. Like you can't get to a W here. O S. Oh wait, that worked. I just had to walk the whole thing. I just because I wasn't walking the whole thing, it didn't let up. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I thought the li letters were lining up as I walked it, and when I walked OS, nothing happened. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Because I, w I would like walk here, and I would look, and I'm like, well, that's not working. <laughs> oh no. Okay, what the lesson the fuck? Oh my god, he's on the roof. What the heck? Okay, child. Oh, wait, is this room gonna change for each child? No, it's still the same. Where did he go? Yeah, he's he's spider child. Oh, he went in here. There's a dummy. Hi, I'm Joe Castavet, stylist of mannequins in his pet time. Oh, he needs a cape and a shirt. He's missing a shirt, a cape, and maybe shoes. Where is your other stuff, sir? That is all I have found. Where are your other items? In here? Here's your shirt. Do you have a cape? There's your shirt. That's not your cape. It's a blue cape though. We need a blue cape. This mannequin needs a cape. That's not creepy at all. Let's check the classroom. Anyone leave a cape behind? In the lost and found, maybe? Oh, it might be in the bathroom. I think that was closed in the bathroom, maybe. Could be in there. Could be in the bathroom. Oh, I found it. That's where it was. I wish you could have like a sprint. I, w I want to be able to sprint, especially in horror games, but I walk so slow. Yeah. Oh, he just ran towards me. That was scary. Achievement unlocked. Superhero stylist. Alright, then where did this child run off to? What is dinging like a microwave? Oh, this thing. Oh, we have a maze. C... H A. Wait, let me double check all my working this time. C H A. Oh, we're going all the way to the other. I was like, do we just make it to the middle? That doesn't make sense. C H A R L. R Charlie. His name's Charlie. Let's see if we can get Charlie on the map. Where's C? S -s 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 oh wait. Here. C H A R L I E. 
Boom, Charlie's on the mat. Okay, now we're on a roll. Where's Charlie gonna come out of? How do I get a third child? I mean a fourth child. I want to f I need- I need another child's name. Oh, Charlie's the one that plays the piano. Oh, maybe the piano downstairs? It might have sheet music down there. <laughs> Just need a chocolate factory. <laughs> he got a- this Charlie got a house of horrors instead of a chocolate factory. He kind of was super unlucky. Oh, he's on the piano! Oops, I think you messed up a little bit. Bye, Charlie. Oh, we got the code now! 69770. Oh. We need to play some music. Charlie in the Horror Factory. It's a really weird configuration of the keys on the keyboard. They're like not in a straight line. It's so weird. Maybe we'll get mute sheet music out of the thing. Six nine seven seven zero. Okay, we're gonna go put this in upstairs. Over here, this thing that we were trying to unlock. All right. Six nine seven. There we go. Yep, we got the sheet music. Alright, back downstairs. We're gonna play the piano. Look, I appreciate the fact that they had a piano in this game and then you were actually able to play it. Who's playing the piano now? There's no one there. Ghost piano playing. <clears throat> Let me prepare my piece. Charlie piano lesson. Alright, it's Q R F R F D. Q R F R F D. Q R F Q R F R F D. Ooh. Oh my god, he's staying there. <laughs> he's sitting on the table. Holy shit. Okay, Charlie. We played your music. Now what? Oh, you have a thank you for your note. What is this hangman with every letter? Okay, it's the letters that aren't crossed off. It's B, E, H T Bet B E H T Thanks Thanks Sullivan <laughs> Thanks Sullivan I needed to get whipped in the face with your tail. Come here, what are you doing? B E H T, yes, I agree. Oh, where you go? Where you going? I caught you. I caught you, tried to run away, but I got you. Where you go? Sit there. Alright. Oh, not with your tail, please. That's not useful. Is there a B? B? Okay, no, I need a B near H. There's a H down there. Is there only one B? B? Oh, Beth. It was Beth. Not Beth. <laughs> you needed to switch the T and the H around. It's Beth. That was the other girl's name. Oh, now there's an arrow. Lol. We're like, Beth? <laughs> oh, there's more arrows. The bathroom? <gasps> Shit. Oh my god, I shouldn't have expected that, but it still scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. I'm gonna have premature heart attack. The heck is Beth doing in here? Oh, Beth's got some big feet. She really likes drawing on the floor with chalk. I think that's gonna get her in trouble. Beth, why are you going in the water? Oh, we're playing hopscotch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did it! What does this mean? Ok, 
Okay. Oh, now the arrows are going the other way. Oh, she just wanted me to play Hotskosh in the wardrobe. Smiley face? Whoa. That's a lot of letters. Oh, okay, calm down, Beth. Usually there's a typewriter in them and they give me a note, but Beth is just jumping on the bed. Okay. Oh wait, times five? Five steps? One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, no, there's things on the stairs now. Oh, we're going on a hunt. All the way downstairs. Okay, that thing with Beth jumping on the bed was like a bit of a red herring. Didn't really understand it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why are we in here? Oh, what's this? Hey Beth. What you doing? Your clues are kind of shitty. Oh, and now you just want me to come in this room and then leave again? And we're like, we're leaving. <laughs> She's sending us around the entire house. She's like sending me everywhere. Okay, now I'm in the kitchen. Now I'm leaving the kitchen. Times 10. So the first one was times 5, this one was times 10. You go we're going in here now? Whatever you say, Beth. You just put the chalk down. I'll fo we're, we're, we're going around the whole house. We're going everywhere. Oh! Thanks for the creepy doll with only one arm. Oh, that's a clock hand. We got the clock hand. Okay. Here is my price. How is this guy so calm? He's just like, this is totally normal. This haunted mansion with these ghost children running around with like their blind and shit is just like everyday occurrence. This guy's not even phased by the things he is seeing. I would be trying to leave. Okay, so we got one of the, the last clock hand. Which was for her clock. That was for Beth. Here you go, Beth. Alright. You got a clock hand now. Surely the drawings on the wall are clues to what the times are gonna be. What did this have? This was just... Wait, is this different? Wait, this is different. This isn't the note that was in here before. House of Orphans. Castabet family in N204 report. Child death report, February 19th, 1988. Dr. Roman Castavet. Personal information, Bethany Miller, patient of six years of age, domiciled in home for orphans of the Castavet family. Personal history, Bethany Miller was born on July 6, 1992, an apparently healthy infant female. The result of a family without resources, the infant is referred to the adoption centre. In 1994, Roman and Beatrice Castavet adopt this infant. Definitive forensic medical conclusions, the natural cause of a... The natural cause as a cause of death is ruled out. It is a non-violent death. The main cause was the sudden death due to thoracic aortic dissection in young people. That the approximate date of death can be established at 5 p.m. on February 19th. According to my loyal and no to understanding discharge the mission entrusted. Okay. That note is new. That was not there before. Oh, that's her time. Okay, maybe? Maybe that's her time, because it's highlighted. Let's go see if Bethany is on the hour. Now that I've read that note, where's Bethany? This one? Yeah, it's on. Five? Wait, are these times of death? I don't have times of death for the other children. I only have Bethany's. Oh wait, have all of these changed now? Oh, they've all changed. Have their type? Okay, I've got to go back and find all their typewriters because they've all updated. Oswin Lisbon, twenty-two thirty. 
So Oswin, this one. He was at 10.30. So we just need Anna and... What was this guy's name? Charlie. We need Anna and Charlie. Where were their typewriters? There was one there. There's one in here. This is Charlie's, I think. Charlie Sullivan. Uh, main cause was the Brigada syndrome. The cause of Brigada syndrome was a high risk of ventricular arrhythmias. Arithmias? The approximate date of death can be searched at 1.15 a.m. on March 12th. Oh! Okay. Scary children. Batteries! I need batteries for the radio. Thank you, my dear children. Okay, that was spooky. Where's the radio? I have batteries for the radio, finally. Okay. Really quiet now. Oh god, what happens when we get to the end? That was the whole song. I think it was kind of creepier when no children went out to play and four came back. Oh, Sullivan. Does this work now? Oh, that's a cute drawing. These turn on now. These are cute. I thought these were going to be creepy. These are cute pictures. It's the four kids. Let's wait for the last one to be horrifying. That's an interesting one. Oh, the lights have an order. Okay, now we got to figure out the order. The lights have an order. Oh, it's the order of the song. Four children went out to play. Four children went out to play. That's the last one because that's the one when they're like dead, I assume. Four children came out to play. This one must be three. Yep, three children went out to play. This one was two. Two children went out to play. One child went out to play. Then no children went out to play, but four came back. Boom. Solved it. I have a crank. This must be for the thing upstairs. Don't worry kids, I'm solving it. I'm on the case. I'm on my way. This has to be this. Yes. Ooh. It's the secret elevator. Okay. Rami? I found the Rami doll. Okay, we can only go down. Oh, don't tell me there is a basement. After all that, there's a basement? No. I thought we were really just like not having a basement in this game and that was something I wouldn't have to put up with. Why does it look like I'm in some old office building? Here we'll find the answers I need. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> what is this? Why is there hands? Oh, I hope I turned that one. Oh my god, they I can use I can turn all of there's so many hands I can turn. What about this one? This one's painted dipped in red. What if I turn the ones dipped in red? Why is something ticking? Is there any others dipped in red? 
That one's holding a light. That's not creepy or anything. Okay, oh, there's one up here. Holy shit. Insomnus? It's like a medical thing? Restricted area pass? What is up with this hallway? Why does it have so many hands? <gasps> it's a child scare me. This is like a lab. Oh my god. The air from this place feels so cold. Save me. Three quarters red, one quarter blue, four quarters yellow is green. Insomnus solution. I need to find chemicals. Feed children. Oh, I have red. I also have a notebook. 1st of January 1994. I start the research with four subjects. Subject 1, Oswin receives the dose. Subject 2, Anna receives the dose. Subject 3, Charlie receives the dose. Subject 4, Beth receives the dose. Where is your control? This is a terrible experiment already. If all goes well, the process should be completed in a couple of years. The dean of my university was the first to perform the synthesis of pro protoserum, one of the great advances in genetic chemistry derived from transitional insomnia by a method involving the treatment of serum with HZ 12.7 in ether. This procedure is described in my own doctoral thesis in which I emphasize the need for strictly stimulant-free conditions. I will try to continue with the original formula. What were they trying to do though? What was meant to be the desired effect? Obviously not killing children was not the desired effect. Okay, well I have red. So what do we need? We need blue and yellow. We need blue and yellow chemicals. Oh wait, is there going to be a computer I can put this floppy disk in finally? There's VHS tapes. Can't collect those though. A notebook. 4th of June 1994. I'm pretty sure that the initial excess of codones C17H22N2O from the from the reaction formed a numbing synthetic. I had a similar experience with the synthesis of C17H21NO from Diamethylate dimethylthionamide. I'm gonna try and pronounce this word. Dimethylthionamide. <laughs> so long. In which I made use of this observation. Had it not been for the sloppy technique of my former mentor, I would no doubt have abandoned work in this field. Subject number two, Anna, seems to react violently to her treatment. I have given her 12. What's CL as a measurement? Of serum over the last 12 days. Autosomal dominant inheritance at co codon 178 of the PRNP gene seems to create re reciprocity with the substance. The subject has not slept for three days. His constants appeared stable. The other subjects remain stable and unchanged with constant sleep cycles between four and six hours. So they're doing something with sleep experiments. Still don't know what the desired effect was. There's a lot of tapes. Oh, I have a thing. That's probably to put my test tubes in. Oh my god, there's a child sleeping on the bed upstairs. That's creepy. They're just hanging out as ghost children in the house. Ah, oh, phone, we can save the game. Okay, where does this door go? This door needs a code. We don't have a code yet. Okay, we need a code for that. Ooh, this room is very blue. Okay, we have blue serum. Subject 1 Oswin maintains a high heart rate. His vitals appear to be stabilizing. Serum is working positively in this subject. His sleep cycle has been drastically reduced to 3 hours. I estimate that I will be able to increase his dosage later this month. Subject 3 Charlie is suffering from minor arrhythmias. I lower the dose by half. He is not adapting to the stimulants. Serum output is running at approximately 45%. There have been some loss of serum due to the emulsion that formed in the extraction. If the emulsion has been broken, a higher yield would probably have been attained. In any case, the yields are low. There is still a long way to go. The greenish color of the serum is due to the low level of fentanyl. Okay, low level of fentanyl. Aha! Uh -huh. 
the machine that we're meant to use. Wait, I didn't collect the. Oh, I've got. To, I'm gonna have to measure it out. So I'm still need. What's well, a map of the house? That's also very creepy. Okay, so I still need another serum. I think I needed yellow. Ooh. What the heck? Subject Oswin dies of sudden death after suffering an intolerable heart rate. Stimulants have damaged his heart and part of his main arteries. I proceed to remove the body. The other subjects are unchanged with sleep, sleep cycles. Three hours. They're sleeping for only three hours? Oh, this is a creepy room. There's a lot of drugs. Scales? Do I need to go through these? Holy crap, child! I'm trying to help you, could you not do that? Oh my god. Why do I never expect the obvious? Very funny. What does this say? Anna dies of fatal familial insomnia. The ascending reticular system, consisting of the grey matter of the brainstem ponds, has kept the brain awake for too long. His maximum has been 14 days without sleep cycles of more than 15 minutes. I proceed to remove the carcass. This specimen- Oh, we're not even calling the bodies anymore, we're just calling the carcasses. This specimen leads us to consider that I am closer than I thought. The other two subjects remain stable with intermittent sleep cycles of two hours. What, are they trying to like get rid of sleep? Like, are they trying to make it so like humans don't need to sleep? Are these children uh, like ghosts and playing with me or are these their actual bodies? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, this must be their actual bodies. None of you have the yellow tube, test tube that I need though, do you? What's over here? What's this say? New procedure. Mix the cy cyclic acid and metamenthol in a 100 milliliter round bottom flask. Heat the mixture gently to dissolve the cyclic acid and add dropwise one mil. Heat the mixture at reflux for one hour. Cool. Transfer the reaction mixture into a separate separatory funnel and extract twice. Combine them. Imagine if you had to actually do all this. Surely I don't. Decant the dried solution dis distillation machine and distill under vacuum collecting this distillate. A new serum with subjects intravenously. Okay. It's injected through the bloodstream. Still don't have a yellow tube. There's still one more door though. This is a creepy ass room. Oh, it's a film room. We need tapes. What does this one say? Anna has failure of the descending reticular system. She can go for a days at a time without assuming any sleep cycle. She seems to have problems with memory retention. I administer a stimulant in the form of a board game to try to alleviate memory loss. Oh, that's why she wanted to play that board game with me. All other subjects are stable except for Oswin, who has suffered a detached retina in one of his eyeballs. Oh, that does not sound like fun. Why is this floor so dark? I need a yellow test tube. Where's this? This video has all the doors closed, but I'm pretty sure I left some doors open in there. Am I meant to close them? Maybe we'll leave the ones with the kids there? Oh my god, that was it? The freaking doors? Oh my god, was it even the yellow vial? Is it freaking real? Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh, there's kids. Three, one. Oh, is this a code for the door? Five. Is there an. What's the last number? Replay. Oh, zero. Three, one, five. Okay, oh my god, that's so annoying. Zero. Three. 
One. Oh, we're finally in. Whoa, it's like a server room. Another notebook. Subject 4, Bethany died of thoracic aortic section, sudden death. She suffered problems with walking, speech, and had a weak pulse during the last interventions. She also showed paralysis on the right side of her face, so I proceeded to cover it. Her sleep cycle was intermittent, with small micro-sleeps of 25 minutes divided into two parts of the day. Although the, although the four subjects have not yielded the expected results, the formula already shows encouraging data. It is possible that in the next intervention, by changing the phases of the men, manner to menthol, we will achieve a formula that works in a powerful way. The data from the other two laboratories also provides significant data. I am now looking for new subjects. There's two more laboratories and they're looking for more kids. Wait, I forget. I have to take this book. Oh my god, the vial. We found the vial. And what is this? Something needs to go on the computer. Oh, Insomnus project. Error, loading error. Okay, something needs to go in the thing before we can load the. Oh, the floppy disk. We finally found the computer, the floppy disk goes in. We've been carrying that around forever. Can we load stuff up now? Insomnus project. System error. Okay, we still need the thing. All right. But we can do the vials now. Ready, vial. Okay, I can't remember what the quarters were. I have to go look at what the cord. Hold on, hold on. After all that time, I can't remember how much of what I need. This is like part horror game, part escape room. Three, one, four. That doesn't equal a hole, but okay, three, one, four. I'm coming, I'm coming to put it in. Two, three, one, one, two, th three, four. Ding! It's green. All right, I assume this is what we put in the computer. Gonna hack the system. I'm in. I like the little tune it makes. Messages or settings? Messages? The beginning. I guess if you are reading this, I will no longer be alive, so I'll tell you everything from the beginning. The Insomnus Project was born out of an attempt to overcome the limitations of the human being. During a lifetime, a human being wastes a total of approximately 23 years sleeping. 23 years that we could use in hundreds of applications. Can you imagine the military applications it could have? What about what it could help science or medicine? Wouldn't you like to be able to recover all those hours with your grandmother? Maybe with your parents. Interesting. This project started with the idea of making us better, of overcoming limits. It has been conducted all these years in a clandestine, clandestine way because of the moral and collateral implications, but it has been financed by extremely important people, from governmental institutions to medical and pharmaceutical corporations. Hey Justin, how are you doing? How have you been? You must understand the scope of the legacy I leave you. The sacrifice of these orphans over the years corresponds to a greater good, a necessity, a gift and a curse bestowed upon me. Just sacrificing orphans for the greater good. I understand that you may not approve this right now and you may be upset, but how could you understand that you had to sacrifice so much for something bigger? Your childhood, these children, your grandmother, the house, everything, all of it. I've sacrificed everything and I can only tell you one last thing. I'm so proud. The gr <coughs> excuse me. The greatest inheritance I can give you is not money, it is this, the whole amount of my work. 
On this computer is stored all the information about the Insomnus project, experiments, methodology, methodologies, field diaries, etc. Uh, this is your choice. You can decide whether to save and continue with the Insomnus project and succeed where I have failed, or delete it all and make it vanish. Only you can decide the course of the story, Joe. OS name? It's <laughs> just all the information of the computer. 1991, Backstation Corporation. Okay. How do we go back? About? Backstation Corporation is an England multinational technology company with headquarters in Camerwell, United Kingdom. It develops, manufactures, licenses, supports, and sells computer software. Its flagship hardware products. It's considered one of the big five companies in the UK. So I'm assuming I have to decide to delete all info as if I would continue this I can't can't continue killing orphans just so we don't have to sleep surely delete all info I'm gonna delete all info oh I need to enter a code <laughs> of course I can't just delete all the info I need a three letter code okay what if I can't what if there is no three letter code what if I have to do save backup? What if it won't let... What did that do? I saved a backup. What did he say? Oh, is it Joe? Maybe it's my name. My name is a three letter word. Okay, maybe it's Joe, because that's my name. J O Boom, it was my name! <laughs> oh my god, that could have taken me so long to think of that. Are you sure you want to delete all information from Backstation and Insomnus Project? This action cannot be undone and represents an end. An end? <gasps> this game has multiple endings? That's freaking sick. Wait, how do you choose to continue then? What if you- what if I don't want to delete the files? N end? That means there's multiple endings. Yes. Format. All data on drive will be lost. It's processing. We're reformatting the drives. We're getting rid of all information. Fuck you. I will destroy everything. <laughs> Fuck you. I will destroy everything. Wait, how do you can choose? <gasps> Holy shit, why are these two keep doing this to me? Oh, they're so cute. Now you can rest in peace. Oh, I help the, the dead orphans. I help the dead orphans. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to be afraid of ghosts. When I grew up, I realized that I'm more scared of people. <laughs> Well, that was pretty good. How long did that take? About three hours. That's not bad. About three hours isn't too bad. Wow, that was interesting. Some parts I got stuck on just because I didn't know what the like where the next st stop like next thing took place because it was like upstairs, downstairs, all over the place. But otherwise, that was really good. I, there was the like the horror atmosphere. But I'm interested in what the other ending is, though. 